Hello there, this is Amy from Made for Math, and I am here today to show you a few activities that you can complete with your students or your kids at home as you are just introducing coins. One of those activities is sorting a pile of coins into groups. And I recommend when you are just starting out with the value of coins to just keep it to pennies, nickels, and dimes. And so you can have a pile of coins on a table, maybe in a cup or a small dish or something. And first you'll wanna have the student sort those coins into three piles. And so within the pile, you'll wanna sort out the pennies and then go ahead and sort out the nickels. And you're not worried about counting the coins at this point, you're just worried about sorting them into three piles. Okay, so now that you have your coins sorted into piles, another activity that you can complete is skip counting with coins. So counting by pennies, counting by ones, your child can probably already do very fluently. So you can go ahead and jump to counting by nickels or counting by five cents. So you can go up to 25 cents, 50 cents, or even a dollar, depending on your child. So just for this practice, we'll go up to 50 cents. And so you'll have your child lay down one nickel and as they put it down, they can, they can touch it and say five cents. They lay down another nickel and touch it and say 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and count up my nickels and see if I have 50 cents. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, I will add one more because I wasn't counting this one when I was doing my count. So 50, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over just a little bit. Okay, and now you can also practice counting by dimes or by 10 cents. And I'll go up to 50 cents for my dimes as well. So counting by 10 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents. And it's important that as your child counts by the dime or the 10 cents that they touch the dime each time and say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 for 50 cents. So skip counting with coins is another activity you can do. And when your child is ready to introduce quarters, you can also count by 25 cents or half dollar coins, 50 cents or even dollar coins, counting by dollars. And then the last activity today that I wanted to show you is building coin quantities. And we're gonna build a coin quantity two different ways. So our change that we are gonna build is 23 cents. And we're gonna be using pennies, nickels, and dimes. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna start out with the nickel with five cents. So here I have five, and add another nickel, 10 cents, 15 cents and 20 cents. And I need to get to 23. So I know that I need to add three pennies, one cent, two cents, and three cents. I'm gonna double check that I have 23 cents. So five, 10, 15, 20. So right here, I have 20 cents. And one, two, three cents. Over here, I have three cents. And as I add those two quantities together, I have 23 cents. And then um, go ahead and have your child build 23 cents another way. So this time I would ask them if there's a more efficient way to build 23 cents. So last time we built it with four nickels and three pennies. So this time 
I would prompt them to try to start with another coin. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a dime. So I have 10 cents, I add another dime. I have 20 cents and I need to get to 23. So I need three pennies, 21, 22, 23. I'm gonna go ahead and add up this to make sure I got back to 23. 10 cents plus 10 cents is 20 cents. Plus one, two, three pennies. And I have another representation of 23 cents. And there is another representation out there. Actually, there are a couple more. So you can see if your child can build a few more representations of 23 cents using pennies, nickels, and dimes, or maybe just a few of those coins at a time. And I will see you in upcoming videos where I show you some other activities that you can complete using US coins. Thank you for joining.